Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Jenny here, the Uncrafty Crafter. I hope that you guys are having a fantastic day and uh, looking forward to um, the rest of this week. Weather-wise, looks like it might be cooling off a little bit, so I'm excited about that. Um, so today, I am doing something a little bit different. Um, you can see I have a teeny tiny little um, mandala type um, painting. It's a little teeny one. It's a 25 by 25. This was honestly one of the very first diamond paintings that I ever did. I bought a set of these, like a four pack on Amazon. Um, obviously, you can see the thumbnail up here. Um, super pretty, minus the dog hair. Excuse that. Excuse me. Um, but then you can tell by the actual painting that, you know, it's lacks some detail. But anyway, uh, it was a good practice run. This was enough to let me know that um, I did this one and the other three. Those were enough to let me know that I loved diamond painting. So, uh, this began my addiction. <laughs> so, um, what I'm planning on doing is I have actually got um, some of the Deco Art Triple Thick Gloss Glaze. It's a brilliant brush on gloss glaze. Grab this on Amazon. Grab this Mod Podge brush on Amazon as well. And I wanted to um, give this a try uh, before, like a test run, if you will, I guess, uh, before I decided to... Um, seal this bag that I did a while back. Um, if you've been around for very long, you remember this bag. Um, I finished this bag in a couple little whipping chats and um, the drills are kind of slidey, I guess. The glue is a little bit slidey so the drills move around easily. And because it is a bag, um, I wanted to seal it so that those gems wouldn't get knocked around. So. But I wanted to test it. I wanted to test this before I, um, on something that wasn't too mega important before I, you know, went ahead and tried it on my little bag. So what I'm going to do is do half of the bottom. I'm going to do the bottom half of this. And um, the directions on here says, if I can find the English, because there's like 20 million different languages here. This one here, it says create, this is for hard surfaces. It says here, use an acrylic brush to apply. Apply multiple coats for additional protection or on textured or porous surfaces. So because this is textured, um, then I would want to apply multiple coats it says do not overwork and allow to dry for 24 hours before use uh, water-based permanent soap and water cleanup blah 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 so I think what I'm gonna do is apply a bottom a coat to the bottom half let it dry for a few hours add another coat um, I'll probably just do two or three coats on this and see how it turns out and according to that I'll determine whether or not I want to use it on my pretty little bag. I've seen and heard great things about this, so I definitely wanted to give it a try. And I also kind of want to see how it does, not only how it holds up, but how it um, how it looks. This isn't a super shine. I mean, you can see some shine in that, you know. Um, but I kind of want to see what it looks like with the gloss over it um, sealed versus not sealed and see how much shine and glimmer that it loses, I guess. So that's what we're going to do. You can see how much it shines whenever I move it around. So let's go ahead and add one layer. I already opened it up and um, took the seal off so I wouldn't have to fiddle with that uh, while on camera. <laughs> so I got my handy dandy little brush and I'm just gonna dip it in here. Get some of the glue on there. I hope that's in the camera. 
not really sure how much it's going to take because I've never done this, used this before. So I'm going to just let the extra drip off there. And then I'm just going to put it on. It goes on easy, that's for sure. It has a slight smell to it. Not overpowering, but... It says do not overwork, so I don't really want to, you know, manhandle it too much. So I'm just going to go back and forth this way and this way, make sure it gets in them grooves. And I think that's all I'm going to do. So I'm going to set that to the side, cover this back up. I'm going to let this dry. There's another dog hair. Um, I'm going to let this dry, and I did it about the halfway point. Let me see if I can eyeball. Um, yeah, right about halfway. Like, I wouldn't start about right through here. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm going to let this dry um, a few hours, come back on camera, see what it looks like, add another coat, and um, in between cuts you're not going to have to wait it's just going to be a little blip on the camera and then you'll see so anyway we'll see what it looks like in just a little bit in just a minute be right back okay guys so we are back it has been for you a split second for me it has been about 24 hours um i I do have a little bit different setup, so I do have my flash on on my camera as I'm recording just because I'm trying to get things moved from my kitchen table, which was my craft space slash office slash YouTube recording studio um, into another space in the house. Uh, but I don't have great lighting, so for now, until I can figure out something else, I'm using the flash on this camera. But anyway, um, I decided against putting a second coat on this after looking at it and testing it out. Um, so just to recap, we use this triple thick deco art with the Mod Podge brush and I used one coat and I just flipped it on this side here, um, down here at the bottom, the bottom half. So, um, I did do just the bottom half, not the top half, just for comparison's sake. So, um, first of all, what I want to say is I don't feel like it really affected the, um, glistening or shiny value. Um, in the first part of the video, I was kind of doing this number with the camera so you could see the sparkle. And I'm really not seeing any difference in the camera um, from the top half versus the bottom. I mean, you can see the shimmer down here in the corner, in this corner, up here. It looks about the same to me. So I don't feel like it lost any or very much at all of its uh, glistening and shiny value. Um, this just like I can it did kind of make it a little bit stiffer like here it's not as stiff it's more pliable but if I turn around and do that here it's more it's just stiffer and um, whenever I tried to like pull these around they're not really going anywhere um, these are pretty stuck anyway but you can see I can kind of like move that one around a little bit with my fingernail those two see that just kind of went up off of the canvas so I'll push those back down in place um, but then these here I'm not really getting them to move and I'm pushing pretty hard so that's 
that's good. Um, when you look up close, like don't look at the dog hair, excuse the dog hair. That's like in there now. <laughs> I could probably get that off with a pair of tweezers. Yeah, there we go. Um, now it's gonna drive me crazy. But anyway, if you look up close, this is the knot. This is the part that is not um, sealed. And then this is the part that is sealed. I really don't see much of a difference. Now we're looking, this is the sealed side. This is the not sealed side. Okay, now we're looking at it head on again. This is the sealed side and the not sealed side. So, um, yeah. The only negative thing that I can say that I have noticed so far, granted it has only been 24 hours, um, is that I took, before I started filming this, this section of the video, I actually took the canvas and kind of like bent it right here, try to see if it would crack or split. And I like bent it all the way down that edge there. And you can see up close, whenever I do bend it, you can see that it kind of like separates, but obviously it's going to because it is glue. Now, it's still really tough. It just has a bit of a like dried glue color to it here whenever I bend it. But whenever you put it back in place, you can't really notice it. So my thoughts is that if you wanted to use the triple, the Deco Art Triple Thick Brilliant Brush On. I highly recommend it for any diamond paintings that you have issues with. I personally think it's a waste of time to, to seal a diamond painting, especially if you're going to frame it like behind, you know, glass or um, acrylic or whatever they call that. Um, unless you're having issues with like popping drills. Um, then I would seal it if that's the case. Um, other than that, the only thing that I wanted to test this out for was for my bag um, to seal this section. So I'm going to use this on that. Now, if I were to put this on, um, trying to think of anything that would be flexible and flimsy um, but I can't really think of anything off the top of my head. But if you had something that was going to be constantly, you know, man you know, manipulated and moved and, and knocked and banged around and stuff sliding up and down on or whatever, then I would recommend, um, maybe using something else just because the more that it's moved, and the more that it's manipulated, you know, if you do this over and over and over daily to this canvas, eventually I feel like that's going to start peeling. And so, but if you have something that's gonna be flat against a wall all the time, then I think this is perfect. Um, the same with this. I think it'll be fine for this because when I'm getting in and out of it, I'm just gonna be getting in and out of the top. I might bang around this a little bit, but not enough to warrant, um, I think anything different than what I already have on hand. So anyway, that was just a little test. Um, let me know if you've used the Deco Art Triple Thick and let me know what you think of it. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show this and see what it looks like with sealed versus not sealed. I'm pretty impressed. Pretty, pretty, pretty impressed. So, all right guys, um, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and um, subscribe if you're new here. If you do subscribe, make sure to hit the notification bell, ding, 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 to get notified the next time I upload another video. So until then, um, stay safe. I will 
link this. I'm pretty sure I bought this on Amazon and this on Amazon. I will link these in the description box um, below. And if you're interested in these little mandalas, um, maybe for kids or something, something to just practice on or whatever, I'll link those because I got them from Amazon as well. And um, if you like that, I'll link that as well. I'll just link everything in the description box. That way you don't have to go on the hunt for anything. So, all right. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.